Welcome to Film My Run, I'm Stephen and it's time for another random running product related review. Today we need to talk about the Enator shock absorbing insoles. Uh, now you may have seen a few weeks ago I posted a video when I first received these insoles of me doing what's called the egg test. If you haven't seen it go and watch it. It's me holding um, two eggs, one in each hand, and dropping them onto um, an Enator shock absorbing insole and an old Hoka insole. It's a test that Enator have done themselves as a, as a marketing video and I saw this video on Facebook and I wanted to see if it was really true. Could the egg bounce off the Enator shock absorbing insole while with other insoles uh, the egg would hit the insole and break? Spoiler alert, the Enator egg did not break whilst the egg I dropped on the Hoka insole uh, cracked. It did bounce but it definitely cracked. It didn't break open but it definitely cracked. So I've now been using these Enator insoles for a few months and they have covered countless miles. The, these are them, they, they're looking a bit worse for wear, um, that's no fault of the Enators, honestly. Uh, they've done the South Downs Way 100 mile race, 21 hours of running um, over some nice comfortable terrain. Uh, it's not particularly challenging terrain but it's a long time to be out. However, they've also done the Val d'Aran 100. If you haven't heard of the Val d'Aran 100, it's in the Pyrenees. Uh, it took me 47 hours, 46 hours, 50 minutes to do over the, some of the most technical, difficult terrain I've ever experienced. And these came with me. So they have been through the ringer. They have covered some 600 odd miles, these insoles, over all sorts of terrain. So uh, they have well exceeded uh, their guaranteed lifespan. Uh, it's no fault of any at all that they have, they have cracked a bit. The other thing that I have done with these insoles is that I have transferred them between shoes. Uh, so I've, I've had them in my road shoes, I've had them in my trail shoes, I've had them in different kinds of trail shoes. So I have taken them out and put them in and taken them out and put them in. They have honestly done everything I've asked them to do um, and it's no surprise that they are a little bit worse for wear now. However, we've been so impressed with these that my wife has literally just bought some of her own. Why have we been so impressed? Well, let me tell you. I cover a decent number of miles each week, let's say between 40 and 60 miles each week. And if I'm training for a race, that can go up to 100 miles a week. And um, that hurts your legs and it makes you tired. And if you're wearing uh, normal shoes, and uh, as most people do, uh, normal trail shoes or road shoes, you've got some cushioning. I like Hoka's. Uh, which do give you a lot of cushioning in the uh, sole. Um, however, um, these shock absorbing insoles um, have made my life a lot easier. When I come in from a long run, um, especially if I've been banging the downhills hard or crushing the uphills, your quads are generally trashed and it can take a few days for your legs to recover. With the Enators, I have found, honestly, I have found that my recovery time is a lot quicker. My legs hurt less. And that's simply because when you're pounding down, coming down a steep hill or on the pavements, your legs are taking a pounding and your quadriceps, um, your calf muscles will hurt. They will ache. Have a look at that video of me dropping the egg on these insoles, the bounce back that you get, the bounce back of the egg, it, it drops onto the Enator insole and it bounces back up. Imagine that on your heel, imagine that in the back of your calves, the spring back you get, the cushioning that you will get when landing your foot down on the ground. These insoles have made a real difference to the damage that I've taken in my legs during those long runs and during those hard efforts. As I mentioned, my wife has bought a pair. She's been so impressed uh, with uh, what she's seen uh, and I've told her how it's felt. Uh, so she's gone and bought some herself. So this is a brand new box of Enator insoles. When you buy them, you also get, uh, I think you get um, a free buff or you can certainly get a discount code to get, to get a buff 
as well and a tour buff and also what I wanted to mention we got um, inside a, a little leaflet which says recycle your old insoles with Enator's new scheme. It's estimated that every year in the UK, over 600 tonnes of insoles go into landfill. We are setting up what we believe is the world's first scheme for you to recycle your old insoles. Uh, so you can basically recycle your old insoles. Don't have to be Enator ones, any insoles. You send them to Enator and they will recycle them for you. That is a reason in itself to buy a pair of Enator insoles. So now what we're going to do is take these insoles outside and do another egg test. I'm going to take one of my old Enator insoles. These are the ones that have done 600 odd miles through some of the toughest terrain you're likely to encounter. So we'll take one of these and then we'll take a brand new Enator insole and we will bounce an egg off both of them and see how they come out. So let's do that now. Right, so let's try this. We've got the old Enator insole, 600 miles on the clock. We have a brand new Hoka insole, and we have a brand new box of Enator insoles. So what we'll do is we'll break open this box first. Oh, we also have the eggs here, by the way. Uh, I'm hoping to only use one egg. So these are the new insoles. So it's a brand new box. And I'll show you the difference. Uh, that's the difference in colors on the bottom. So brand new Enator insole. So let's try the egg test on this insole first. So we'll take a brand new egg out of the box. And what I'm hoping is that this egg will simply bounce and I'll be able to catch it. And we're gonna bounce it onto the heel here. Um, and also we need to work out what height we're going to do it from, don't we? It needs to be a bit higher than that. Um, hopefully I'll do around the same height for, for all of them. So we'll do this height for this one and hopefully I'll get it the same for the others. Right, that bounced off, absolutely not broken at all. We'll do it one more time. And it's bounced off and it's not broken at all. So that's the brand new Enator insole, right my old Enator insoles. Let's see. Fingers crossed. I think about the same height. It's not broken. No, no cracks, no nothing. It's not broken. Brand new Hoka insole. Let's see if it bounces. Oh, no, it's, br it's cracked. So I think you can see immediately. I, I, I think I dropped it from the, about the same height, but it's definitely cracked. It's not smashed to pieces, but it's definitely cracked and the egg is coming out. And that is a brand new Hoka insole. This is not to slag off Hoka. This, is, this, this will be the same for all insoles that are not Enator insoles. Hoka we know make really good shoes, um, really comfortable, really cushioned, the most cushioned shoes in trail running, um, but they don't stand up to what um, the Enator shock absorbing insoles can do for you. Imagine that level of spring back, that level of cushioning on your feet when running a 100 mile race. Okay, that's it from my Enator shock absorbing insole review. Uh, take care, see you for another one next time. Bye bye.